the next question is my current relationship status. <laughs> um, um, New I pack in the edits, guess what? He'll still be a laugh right now if you niggas ain't gas him up. Get my shorty statements and guns, I tell him slap for nothing. What's up, guys? It's your girl Yo Yo, and today I'm doing a about me tag. These haven't been out in a minute, I feel. I haven't seen a lot of these, but I finally hit 200 subscribers, and I'm really excited. Um, it's not a lot, but to see the support that I've been getting, the growth. Um, to see how comfortable I've gotten with this whole YouTuber thing, it's really interesting. And to think that at some point I was struggling to get 10 subscribers, to get 15 subscribers, and all these little milestones are just so important and so rewarding. So my full name is, I don't like sharing my full name because I don't like people knowing my government. So... Should I say my actual full name? Alright, fuck it. <laughs> so, my full name, which is probably going to be the first, last, and only time you will probably be hearing this. My full name is Johanna Marie Vargas. A question I get a lot. Um, I go a lot by Yo-Yo, which is the nickname I got in like middle school by my best friend. And it kind of just stuck all the way through college and everything. Um, it's not okay so I really like my name I feel like it's very different it's very unique people have different versions of my name but the way my name is spelled and everything is just different from everybody else's I love my name um, I do I just feel uncomfortable when people say my name because I feel like people knowing my name is like kind of like letting you in in a way and I don't know like I feel like it's very serious like Johanna like so I like people calling me by my nickname more. It's more, you know, chill. Um, number two, what is your zodiac sign? So my zodiac sign is a Capricorn, and I freaking love being a Capricorn. Three fears. Um, what am I afraid of? All right, so the first thing I'm afraid of is rats and mice. It, it, it's not even a fear. It's a phobia. Like I'm really scared of them. They're so tiny and disgusting and gross, and they squeak and they're furry and hairy and they can, they have no bones so they can literally go through anything and that is disgusting to me like it really bothers me that they even exist my second fear would be failure i hate failing um and i feel like i put so much towards myself and i build so much that fit like having to go through failure is just a big fear of mine like overall and like life i'm just scared to fail at anything that i do i always try to be the best that i can at it um do the best that i can and just you know i don't i don't like failure and my last fear is i'm afraid of death like i'm afraid to die before my time comes and i know that that's very subjective because people summer at a different time but i feel like I'm afraid to die when my time comes, not when the time somebody has predestined, predis somebody has predisposed for me. I feel like I have so many goals and dreams that I want to attain, so many things I want to do with my life that I really just, I'm hungry for it, you know? And to not be able to achieve those things is just scary to me. Four turn offs. It's somebody who smells bad. I hate body order. A turn off is somebody who's cocky, who's full of themselves, who thinks that they're the best, um, who thinks they're better than everybody else. That's a big turn off. Bad breath. Ooh. I can't do it. Don't talk in my face if you have bad breath. Just don't even try it. When a guy just doesn't listen. For turn ons though, my biggest turn on is arms. Like big, muscular arms. Ugh. One, two, ooh. Sheesh. Ooh. Turn on a guy who smells good. Like if you have some cologne on and it just, mmm. If someone who genuinely wants to make you happy, like, not like, oh, I'm trying to make her happy so I can get her in pants kind of thing. It's like somebody who genuinely 
is just a great person to be around. I know that's not like, it shouldn't be considered a turn on, but I feel like if you're able to make me feel comfortable and you're able to make me have a great time and laugh and everything, that's just a turn on automatically because you're somebody I like enjoying. Like, whoa. You're somebody I like spending time with. So, you know, possibility I'm gonna see you again. The turn on would be a strong, a strong guy. Like, if I'm getting crazy with him and he just picks me up, and you know, like, it's so sexy to me when a guy can pick me up. I'm a little, I'm a little heavy. Like, I'm not, you know, like, a lot of guys can't handle all of the thighs and everything, you know. I find this question interesting. My idea of a perfect date. So my idea of a perfect date would be kind of like driving off somewhere far away where you don't know people. Honestly, like, we could walk around the block and like, if I'm having a great time with you, like, that's enough for me. Like, I don't ask for a lot. I care more about memories and the quality of things than um, quantity and superficiality. Um, take me to the movies when they have a sale and buy me some cheap, like, the small popcorn and a small drink that we could both share. That we could watch the movie and then after the movie we have a whole intellectual conversation about the movie that's that's a cute date to me i don't care about going to fancy dinners or getting fancy purses or or going to a hotel with rose petals everywhere like no i mean it would be nice and especially if, it, if it's with the right person but i don't care about all that extra shit. i like really like simple stuff like let's just go out for a walk let's go out at night and it's so some of my friends and I asked them to help and my friend asked me where are you from I am from the Dominican Republic I was born there I came to this country when I was four years old it's funny because I can't pronounce a lot of things the correct way and people are always coming at me for it and it's not me trying to bring up the excuse that I'm an immigrant but I'm an immigrant I can't say shit the right way like I'm sorry if I say tobacco instead of tobacco I can't even say it right like um but yeah, like, I don't really have a Spanish accent that much. I have more of, like, I can't pronounce things in a certain way. Three questions from my Instagram. I posted it a few minutes after, but I got three questions. What is, what's your motivation? My motivation is me. Me seeing who I was before is a motivation for who I want to be later on. Who I want to be now, really. Um, seeing where I came from. Seeing all the obstacles that I had to face seeing um all the goals that i have i feel like i'm my own motivation because i'm going to be a better version of me next question is when did you decide to start making youtube videos so i want to make youtube videos since i was in like my probably sophomore junior year of high school see how i actually made a lot of videos like practice videos i made real videos and i just never posted them because i'm a perfectionist I was like, these videos are not good. So, and at first I didn't promote my YouTube channel whatsoever. None of that. Um, I was very timid about it. Um, but what made me want to start it, um, the fact that I want to grow. I want to grow as a brand. I feel like YouTube is a way for, peop for, for you to meet a lot of people that you would never... Um, get a chance to meet or get a chance to be in touch with and it gives you this platform such a big platform on in which you can just talk and let people know how you feel and share your memories with other people share your experiences with other people and it's just really cool to me and I, I always said I want to start a YouTube channel because I have bigger goals in life and I wanted to grow my platform and my brand so that I can have a big enough voice to impact other people. So hopefully I'll get a chance to do that. That's one of my ultimate goals um, to be able to tell my story. Um, yeah, when I be, when I get a big enough platform to be able to influence other people and be able to talk to other people, um, that's when I will share my story. Next question is my current relationship status. So I'm currently very single. 
<laughs> um, um, but yeah, I'm I'm single. Um, do I talk to somebody? I don't know. I don't know if you would consider it talking, but it's definitely like complicated because we're kind of starting to get to know each other and we have an establishment, but that's another story for another time. Thank you guys so much for watching and again, thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. You guys are the best. And can you guys go ahead and check out my Instagram page? It's at damn yo yo i've been working okay i've been working on my modeling i've been working on my photography skills i've been working on my video skills um and i don't know i feel like i'm really growing not at the pace that i want but i'm getting there so if you guys would check out my um my instagram and go give me some support over there that would be awesome so yeah see you guys in my next video